Thank you, Norris San Sheikha, for that report. And on educational matters, the Special Advisor to the Governor on Free Education, Dr. Kabiri Shu, has called on citizens in the state to complement government's effort of providing basic services by monitoring projects executed in their respective communities. Dr. Kabiri Shu made the call at the presentation of findings from tracking of second and third quarter implementation of the 2022 budget. Correspondent Nasr Yusuf Ibrahim, who attended the event, filed in this report. Bichi, Karai, and Gay Emirates on findings from tracking of the second quarter and third quarter of this year's implementation of 2022 budget of this year's budget implementation. Speaking at the occasion, the special advisor to the governor on free education, Dr. Kabiri Shehu, called on citizens to complement government's effort by monitoring and tracking government projects being executed in their respective communities. Community uh, CBOs are important partners. They are partners in progress as, as far as government uh, objectives, projects um, are concerned. Uh, their role is to sensitize the communities uh, to come up with uh, what they need, what they think government can do for them, and they also to understand that once government has cited a particular project in their localities, those projects do not necessarily belong to the government, but they belong to the communities. In their separate remarks, Marlon Sepiani Law and Bichi and Dr. Awala Halilu identified some of the government projects being executed in 2022 budget. In his address, the state program facilitator at Partnership to Engage Reform Align PEL ECP, Malanginu Sahanza said, Civil society organization in Kano will soon develop an application for budget tracking. The meeting was attended by community-based organizations, civil society organizations, government officials, and journalists. Nasu Yusuf Ibrahim reporting for ARTV News.